Good morning. For the sake of new members, my name is Greg Walsh. I'm Chairman of the Western Victorian Regional Executive Forum and Chairman of Champions of the Bush, which inspired the formation of the Regional Executive Forums in Gippsland, Northern and Western Victoria and gives it ongoing support. In the past, I've delivered these presentations to you in person by attending REF meetings in Wangaratta and Tarogan and Warrnambool. But due to the need for medical treatment to overcome myeloma or bone marrow cancer, I thought it best this time to record the presentation and send it to you electronically. The three matters I wish to inform you about are firstly, an update on the progress made in commercialising Biogen, uh, an Australian insecticide company I introduced you to uh, for learning purposes about three years ago. Secondly, I'd like to inform you about a new approach to regional funding recently introduced by the Victorian Government. And finally, I want to alert you to our annual Melbourne gathering of REF members which this year will be held on Wednesday, the 20th of November. First, Biogene. Biogene's an Australian ag tech company with expertise in insecticides. I introduced it to you primarily for the purpose of enabling you to see and follow the process involved in developing and commercialising a new product line. Some of you also invested in the company, as did I, but this was not the primary purpose of telling you about Biogen. For the record, however, the company's share price is at about 16 cents in the week of this recording. At the time of the introduction three years ago, the price was about 7 to 10 cents per share. The Biogen insecticide is derived from a particular eucalyptus uh, found in Queensland and commonly referred to as the Gimpy Messmate. The product is produced in both its natural form and in a synthetic form which copies the natural form. The product is 5,000 times less impactful on bee populations than products, other products used in uh, crop uh, protection. Early tests suggest that the product has a novel mode of action which distinguishes it from long established pyrethrin based insecticides or uh, uh, on the market, many of which have been declining in effectiveness due to the build-up of resistance to them. Mortine, for example, uh, tends now to knock down flies rather than kill them. And there's evidence uh, increasing, of, uh, increasing evidence of resistance to porons and other chemicals used uh, to reduce lice in other pests in cattle. The commercialisation of Biogen has involved considerable time, effort and substantial expenditure on trials lasting 3, 6 and 12 months. The strategy developed by the directors of the company has been to raise capital funds through listing the company on the ASX. This was done back in 2017. The funds were then used to explore markets uh, in, in specific areas uh, for cropping, public health and animal health and its effectiveness was then scientifically validated um, in these selected areas uh, before attracting global players in the insecticide industry to partner, partner with Biogene to manufacture and sell products in carefully uh, identified markets. As you can see, we're not talking here about an overnight commercial success, but last week produced a breakthrough when Biogene announced the first and most important of the partnership arrangements it has been seeking. It is with the world's largest chemical company, BASF. The purpose of the partnership is to develop and apply the Biogene product in the protection of grain storages from uh, the damage inflicted by grain storage pests. The Queensland Department of Agriculture and Fisheries is collaborating with Biogene and BASF in this project. I'll keep you informed of Biogene's progress as we go forward in the months and years ahead. The second matter I wish to inform you about concerns a new approach to funding regional development announced recently by the Victorian Government. It is an approach long advocated by Champion of the Bush as it involves the use of loan funds as distinct from 
grants or handouts. Providing the loan funds are repaid, they are likely to be much more effective and far-reaching than grants or handouts. You'll recall us urging regional development ministers and bodies like Infrastructure Victoria to give more attention to the need for funds to develop small-scale regional infrastructure like water pipelines, transport hubs or regional airport runway extensions as distinct from the very large metro-based projects like underground tunnels. The Victorian Government has recently announced a Community Infrastructure Loan Scheme. This will provide local government authorities with access to $100 million uh, uh, um, uh, at very low interest rates to help build small-scale but vital local community infrastructure. Under the scheme, councils will be able to apply for one or more loans up to a maximum of $10 million. These loans are then repayable at very low interest rates. Champions of the Bush and its partner in this advocacy work, SED Advisory, which is a foundation member of the REFs, can claim some credit in the development of the case for this approach to regional development funding. The final matter I want to alert you to is our upcoming annual gathering of the REF participants in Melbourne on Wednesday the 20th of November from 9.30am to 3pm, including lunch. We are currently arranging an impressive group of speakers to address topics which include new approaches to marketing in the 24-7 world, the application of blockchain technologies to supply chain management, the provision of waste and energy infrastructure, finance, uh, the uh, latest trends in regional economic uh, economies, uh, including their impact on regional industry and communities. The highly regarded Robert Gottliebson has been booked as our keynote speaker and contributor. We've also invited the Honourable Alan Tudge, Federal Minister for Population, Infrastructure and Urban Development to address us. PricewaterhouseCoopers is kindly providing space for this gathering at its head office at 2 Riverside Quay, South Bank. We look forward to your attendance. Last year, we were graciously hosted by the ANZ Bank in Collins Street. Comments about the day were very positively positive, although some of you indicated that there was too much politics given the presentations by the Victorian Treasurer, a Victorian State Parliamentary Leader and a Federal Member. In response to this, uh, this year we are tipping the balance back in favour of your immediate business development needs. This is not to suggest that government and politics is not, imp uh, is, uh, not important, it certainly is. The current downturn in international trade is driven not by markets and industry but by politics, by the Trump-led US-China tr trade war and the Farage-led uh, Brexit debacle. And the money for influence gain, which dominates US politics, is unfortunately becoming a feature of Australian politics, as the recent incident of the delivery of $100,000 in cash in an LD shopping bag to the headquarters of the New South Wales ALP graphically illustrates. We want to remain alert and informed about these matters if we are to succeed in business. So thank you for the time and we look forward to seeing you again on Wednesday the 20th of November at PwC in Melbourne.